Hey, what's up guys? This is Bravo. Today I have a quick tip video for you, specifically dealing with calling in ordinances and timing when to best use those. So right now, as you see, I'm playing a match on Haven with my team here, and we're winning 110 to 0, and this is one of my first matches of Halo 4. And you'll see I'm about to push up to top middle, a little bit hesitant, but I see this player push out, so I decide to challenge them, and right here, I get an ordinance. Now, I have an ordinance ready, and I don't know where the enemy is yet, so... Of course, there's a few options on my screen. I have the overshield, the needler, and grenades. And I'm going to go ahead and pick the overshield because uh, that was just the choice that I made during this game. But the big thing I want you to see right here is I wait a second to call it in. I don't call it in. And right here, I see two players on my screen. And immediately, I call it in because I see these players pushing towards me. Um, so I back off a little bit and I call it in front of me. You'll see I have no shields. So my first thing I need to do is back off because those grenades right there would have easily killed me. And now wait till I push out right here. You'll see my shields have fully returned. But there are three people bottom left on my radar who are pushing towards me. So I waited to call in this overshield. And instead of wait back up and maybe try to kill them and then get the overshield, I'm going to take advantage of the overshield's very small window of invincibility while it's charging and I'm also going to go right towards it and not even try to engage the enemy any melee battles or anything so you'll see I'm going to be able to go ahead right there I see two guys as they're both on it and I get meleeed and shot by all three players right here uh, but as you see my overshield was charging for that entire time so I still have half of an overshield left so I clean up this first kill with a little bit of help from my team I back off and I angle myself so that only two of these players can now shoot me and I pick up the second kill. Now I back off to this angle, clean up that third kill, and you'll see I have no shields here, and there's a little bit of lag. Uh, that player snaps there, but I end up getting the overkill, and uh, that happens. So what I really wanted to bring to your attention today, and most veteran players will have noticed this right away, but there's certain than others to call in your ordnance. So anything like a weapon or grenades, you can pretty much call in any time, unless you feel that you're about to die, and you can better use it on the next spawn. What you'll need to do is constantly assess the situation to decide what the best thing to do is. So you see here, I have an ordinance ready, and once I get this kill right here, I go ahead and I make sure no one's around me, and then I go ahead and call my ordinance, and I go with the speed boost. So you'll see here, I grab it, and right now I want to look for the enemy team as fast as possible. There's two guys on my radar, and I go ahead and I sprint. I'm looking immediately to help my team as best as I can. So I don't drop down right away, I don't want to get hit with grenades, but you'll see I know I have teammates here. So I push in a little bit, and I'm kind of keeping a safe distance while still helping them. And I'm not really taking full advantage of speed boost, but keep in mind, I also don't want to just run out and die. So I pick up that kill right there, and now I'm just helping my team wherever they go. You'll see there's a player dropping down. So I'm able to really be everywhere I need to be because I called in that speed boost when the enemy team was spawning, and then I can go ahead and sprint towards my team. If I had only killed one person and then called in the speed boost, of course, that might have then taken me out of the play, and I would have not been as valuable to my team. But you'll see right here, I pick up that double kill right there, and then pick up another double kill, and go on another killing spree. So certainly, uh, always assess your situation. If you are calling in one of the power-ups, just take a moment to think about, how can I best use the team? Where am I on the map? Where is the enemy team spawning? And that can definitely give you an extra edge, and really be able to take full advantage of the power-ups that you do call in for your personal ordinance. So thank you guys for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed. Just a quick look at some ordinance tips. Please like and subscribe, and I'll be back with more tips soon.